Um, someone else who I want to bring up who kind of went viral just within the past few days. A lot of hip hop blogs were were posting it, but Michelle A, who uh, you have a, have a strong had a strong relationship with back in the day when it comes to music. Uh, there's a clip of her on stage. Um, I don't know, some are saying there was maybe some intoxication or something, but uh, she's on stage and she's kind of laying on the ground and seems a little incoherent and just waving at people. And then someone who seems like a bodyguard or security comes and asks her to get up and then walks her off stage. Did you did you see the video? Yes, I did. Uh, whatever that was, that was some mighty powerful shit. <laughs> I don't mm -hmm. know what it was. Like, it looked like weed to me. Did like didn't like alcohol. There was something different going on there, dude. That was not your normal uh, too drunk to perform or high. Cause she was just on a whole other um, attitude, man. It was it was weird, dude. I've seen people trip mm -hmm. like that before. I'm not gonna put nothing out there on her because I don't want to. I don't want no negative feedback from her uh, from her uh, her fans, but. I've seen that before, and it wasn't nice, man. Sometimes people can have um, emotional breakdowns right in front of your face, but because you, you, you can't afford for them to have emotional breakdown, you, you'll ignore it. Mm. Some people can have an emotional breakdown right in front of your face, and because you, you can't afford for them to have an emotional breakdown, because you got so much invested in them, you can't afford to admit it. Wow. Damn, that makes a lot of sense. I'm not saying that's the case, but it sure, sure looks kind of rough, Doc. That wasn't alcohol, yeah. man. That wasn't no yeah, slurring. Man. Wasn't no slurring. You know, wasn't no staggering. It was, you know, that's alcohol, slurring and staggering. Mm -hmm. uh, we just make you happy or whatever the case may be. That was some hallucinogenic type stuff, Doc. That was some other, other mindset situations completely. So whatever it is, I hope yeah. you get over it. Yeah, man. How, let's talk about her for a bit. How talented was she? Because from what I hear in her music, I wasn't a fan by any means, but I obviously know a lot of songs with her. But she seemed like she was a really good singer. When I say really good singer, I'm talking about like the Mariah Carey's, the Mary J. Blige, who can actually hit crazy high notes. Am I off or, or was she really? Well, when we did turn off the lights, um, to be honest with you, she was good. She was good. But mm -hmm. she wasn't as good as my girl Mona. Um, um, the original, the original the sing, sing lovers with us. Um, we had to actually edit Michelle's part to get what I wanted out of her. We had to get, had her do two parts and cut it together to make it work. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Dre got she did a good album, but you know when you that kind, when you when you are talented like that, and you constantly getting caught up in in. Everybody else was bullshit. You got you got caught up with Dre, and you got caught up with Suge, then you got caught up with Death Row, and you got caught up with this. Now um, you in your middle age, and you still can sing. You still want to sing, but ain't nobody really checking for you. It's like you mad because you missed. Uh, you can get you can get very life can be very frustrating when you've missed that opportunity to you know and watch everybody else take your crown and roll with it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Everybody, you know, the Mary J, you got the Mary J Blige and all the other ladies who've come along, the Ashanti's and the other ladies who was in that genre. She was the first of that genre, but everybody else is making money on that, on what she, what she started off doing, that hip hop R&B thing. Mm -hmm. You know? And, uh, you know, that sometimes, depend, and depending on what you've gone through, uh, personal, I don't, I don't, we haven't talked personally in years, uh, you know, I know she, she. I know she likes. She she wants to be. She considers herself somewhat of a diva, which kind of puts me on. The, I ain't messing with you, list. Okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't do divas, man. Sure. Um, I don't do divas at all. Okay, and uh, you know. So, and sometimes even trying to put yourself in that kind of category, but it's not working for you, can be very disheartening. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. You know that's that's just real talk, Doc. 